So uh, let's give it up. As you can see by her title, just a tad bit irrelevant, but I think if you're a parent or planning on it or you just have to know children or were one, you're going to enjoy what she has to say. for you guys. You're welcome. Uh, anybody, do I have any ladies in the house? Fantastic. Anybody here come with ladies tonight? That sounds, you can take that even later on. Okay, in this picture, anybody raising? One of these is mine. Now I'll tell you right now, this is my daughter and my niece. One of them claims that she wants to be the darkness as her nickname in Girl Scouts. And the other one stood up in front of her second grade class I really appreciate. I think it totally nails down exactly what I want to raise. So I decided, you know what, Google's not doing it for me. I'm going to go to Facebook and ask my friends, what do they think unladylike means? I got things like boorish, rude, cunty. That was a really super one. A lot of people said me. And I'm like, you know what, I'm not particularly unladylike. It brings me to a story. I was walking with my daughter to school, and uh, she dropped her lunchbox, and I heard her go, shit, <laughs> she's seven. And I turn around and says, I'm sorry, mom, it just slipped out. I'm like, that's cool, honey. <laughs> Mommy swears, it's fine. And she goes, why is shit a bad word? I'm like, good question, I don't, I don't know. And she goes, I, I said to her, I'm like, what do you think a bad word is? And she goes, stupid. And she, she goes, ugly? I'm like, yeah! And so we go to school and rattling off all of these adjectives. I'm thinking, I'm the best fucking mother on the planet, right? So I did what every reasonable woman in her late 30s does. Um, I, uh, I had one of those weird thoughts that creeps you out. And you're like, why, why the fuck is this in my head right now? I don't know, I'm just gonna run with it. This is gonna happen. So I picked up the phone and I called my mom because somehow I needed her to validate my awesome parents. So I tell my mom a story about my daughter dropping the shit word and then us talk awesome and you know stupid and ugly. And at the end of it, she goes, did you mention that swearing is unladylike? Like, no, no, Nelly Olson, I didn't. I don't ever want to mention lady like in front of my mom. You know, I mean, come on. Do you really go out and like, my kid's gonna be a lady? When I think about that, I think about princesses and snotty stuck up bitches. And, and I don't really want that for my daughter. I actually asked her what she thought lady meant, and she said, hmm, it was an action. So I, you know, <laughs> ladies, you know, they take tea and they wear tiny gloves and they cross their ankles at the wrists. Uh, at the wrists? <laughs> Boys, you can get my number later. Uh, these are ladies. If you ask my mom, she would say these are, most of them are ladies. I would say all of them are ladies. Furthermore, I've decided I am gonna raise a lady. And I think the best way to raise a lady is for her to be powerful, to know what's going on, to be a strong woman that can say fuck every now and then because it's gonna happen. And that's okay. This, this beautiful human being, fucking lady. Really, lady does, doesn't have a gender. It's just a strong, empowered person who knows who they are. This being said, Mental Health Awareness Week. Going along with this, I want my daughter to be raised in a society where if she has problems, she can talk about it and she can ask for help. A fucking lady knows how to ask for help and take help when it's given. And I'm proud 
when she grows up and can say things like, because I'm a lady ass face. <laughs> it's important. Karen knows it's important. So to conclude, I'm forcing you to go through a Facebook page with me. This is my daughter and me. She's a fucking lady and so am I. And thank you to all the teachers out there.